Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what it is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Excuse me. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Call Halal La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Which means bless Yahweh. Bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to Yahweh the Father in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad. Shalom. And the title men of this lesson is going to be Renew. Renew. All right. Now, this is the etymology for renew. All right. It says re again. So, re means again. And it says resume, revive, renew. Resume, revive, renew all right so i'm gonna read romans chapter 12 verse 1 i beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of yahweh that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice wholly acceptable unto yahweh which is your reasonable service so our reasonable service is to give our bodies as a living sacrifice meaning you have to give up your life in this world in order to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? You can't have best of both worlds. In order to please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you must give your body as a living sacrifice. And even ultimately, when it comes down, you know, to the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, even if you have to get put to death for this truth, you have given your body as a living sacrifice. All right. It says, which is your reasonable service? Verse two, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That ye may prove what it is that good and acceptable and perfect will of your power. So I want to focus on that word renewing. As I went through the etymology, re means again. So resume revive renew okay so the renewing of the mind to bring us into that state and that mindset in which we used to have because who the lord is truly woken waking up today is the elect starting off with the house with, with the government body the hundred and forty four thousand all right which which consists of men the most high is waking up the elect he's staring up their pure minds and things they once knew by the renewing of their mind their spirit to be revived to resume to be renewed putting off the ways of this world to put on the ways of Yahweh which is our true inheritance and which is our true identity as being Hebrew Israelites and our true customs which was taken away from us for a period all right um, I'm thinking of a precept here that I want to get and um, I'm going to jump back to this Romans 12 and I want to get uh, I want to get Jeremiah let's see Jeremiah chapter 17 And verse 4, and thou, even thou self, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. All right, so the Lord told us that we're going to discontinue from our heritage. So now the Lord is waking up the elect, starting with the men. All right. The renewing of their mind because why they have given their bodies as a living sacrifice all right so I want to get another precept just to bring more understanding all right this is Baruch chapter 4 
in verse verse 5 be of good cheer O my people the memorial of Israel you were sold to the nations not for your destruction but because you move your howard to wrath you were delivered unto the enemies for ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not unto the most high ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you for when she saw the wrath of the most high coming upon you she said hearken O ye that dwell about Zion the most high have brought upon me great mourning for I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters which the everlasting brought upon them with joy did I nourish them but sent them away with weeping and mourning let no man rejoice over me a widow and forsaken of many who for the sins of my children am left desolate because they departed from the law of the most high they knew not his statutes nor walked in his ways of his commandments nor tried in the paths of discipline in his righteousness let them that dwell about Zion come and remember remember ye the captivity of my sons and daughters which the everlasting have brought upon them for he have re for he have brought a nation upon them from far a shameless nation of a strange language whose neither reverence old men nor pity child nor pity child these have carried away the dear beloved children of the widow and left her that was alone desolate without daughters but what can I help you? For he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. Oh, uh, go your way, O oh my children, go your way, for I am left desolate. I have put off the clothing of peace and put upon me the sackcloth of my prayer. I will cry unto the everlasting in my days, all right? So I just wanted to read that because it proves that we had lost our inheritance but now we're receiving it back by the lord waking up his elect by the renewing of their mind okay so let's get back to the main the, the main the main major uh the main point excuse me the main point Re uh, romans chapter 12 and 1 but i beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of yahweh that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable so it's a it's a must that we must practice to be what holy all right, because the Most High is holy, the angels are holy, Yahweh Shai is holy. So what? So us, we have to also rehearse the righteous acts of being holy. It says acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing, which renewing means resume, revive, revive, renew, re means back. Okay, by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what it is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh. All right, so it's all about the spirit and us shedding off the old man and putting on the new man. All right, all your nigger ways, you know, and this also go for the women, you know, that, that, that believe, though the few women out there that do truly believe. You got to push off the old you. And put on a new you, which is the spirit, of, the spirit of Yahweh by Shemi Shai, and rehearsing the righteous acts that's, that's written in the scriptures, and rehearsing the laws and the holy days, man. Putting on that holy garment, man. All right. So, from there, I did a blue letter search on the word renew, and there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, six scriptures that holds the word renew. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna read the ones that that uh. Well, I'm going to read all of them. Let's see. 1 Samuel 11, 14. Then said Samuel to the people, come and let us go up to Gilgal and renew the kingdom there. All right. To what? To resume or to revive the kingdom there. This is Psalms 51 and 10. Created me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. All right. And um, the second half of that scripture also tells you that. Uh, let me get it. Let me come back to this because uh, it's important that we read, you know, read the next verse after that. Um, this is created uh, Psalms 51:10. Created me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away 
from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. All right, because the renewing of the new creature, which is the new, the new you walking in the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, is the Holy Spirit, which the Lord gives us as what He called the Comforter, man. That thing that comes with the doctrine, that thing that comes with your faith. All right, and also to our elder Apostle Tahar, he got into about the uh, what what is the Comforter. All right, you know, in his previous lessons he did too. So it's the spirit, all right? So it says, create in me a clean heart. The heart representing your mind, not the muscle in your chest. It says, O Yahweh, create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renew, all right, a right spirit within me, meaning revive a right spirit within me. You know, because every day, you know, this, this world is so much distractions, and also we still sin, but not willingly. <coughs> our minds can go astray and our minds can get sucked back into the darkness but if the most high renew our spirit within us then we will stay afresh all right we will stay with the with the uh the the renewing spirit it says cast not cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy holy spirit from me and the other key word there is holy all right which is going back to um Romans 12. Let me get it again. Romans 12 and and 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. So it's a must that we all at all times rehearse the righteous acts. And every day is a test. Every day is a challenge. All right? Every day is a challenge. We must strive, you know. So um, let me get back to um, the blue letter. Let me type it back in. Renew. All right. So, so that was Psalms 51 and 10. Let's get the next one, Isaiah 40 and 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength and shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint so the most high is going to renew our strength okay the strength we had before in the past okay but this time we're going to be our bodies and our spirit is going to be twerked it's going to be tweaked let me uh, not twerk tweaked all right in a holy manner where we would never go off man when it says in the new testament he's going to take out the stony heart and give us the heart of stone okay which is the heart the, the spirit connected not warring against each other but Always walking in the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and never able to stumble, man. No longer we're in the kingdom of heaven, we're gonna have to tell a brother to uh repent, you know, because it's gonna be perfect when Yahweh Shai returns to make things perfect for us. All right, so I'm gonna read one more time Isaiah 40 and 31. But they that wait upon the Lord Yahweh shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. All right? And that's spiritual powers. Okay? We're going to have the body of an extraterrestrial. Being able to take on a celestial form. And also take on a, the body of terrain. The body of the earth. Being mixed in one. Made perfect. And that's the day we desire, man. Whoo! Call halal la, Yahweh Bashem Shai. This is Isaiah chapter 41 and 1. Keep silence before me, O islands. And let the people... Renew their strength Let them come near Then let them speak Let us come near together to judgment Alright It says and let, let the people renew their strength To be revived Alright To be re to resume Alright To uh, re means again Alright uh, Lamentations 5 and 21 Thou uh, Excuse me Turn thou us unto thee O Lord Yahweh And we shall be turned Renew our days of old Okay, so we want the Lord to renew our days of old The things of the past is what the Lord required And the men of the Lord, starting with the men of the Lord, the elect Okay Want the things of old Living off the land You know, living in our land You know, having the riches in the earth In which the Lord established for us You know, having peace between our families and our tribes you know, being one nation again, Yasha Allah, 
okay? The prince of the power, you know? So let me read that one more time. Lamentation, Lamentations 5 and 21. Turn thou us unto thee, O Lord, Yahweh, and we shall be turned. Renew our days of old. All right, this is the last one, Hebrews 6 and 6. If they shall fall away, to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of the Most High afresh and put him to an open shame. All right? And, and uh, those that, that taste of the heavenly gift and then go back into their own vomit, which is the ways of the world, they have crucified the Lord once again. You know, and they're going to suffer a uh, double fold for what they've done. Because you can't taste of this heavenly gift and think that everything is going to be cool when you go back to the world. And if everything is cool while you're back in the world, that just means the Lord is preserving you for the day of judgment. Because judgment is coming. Yahweh Shai is on his way. He's coming. All right. And the scriptures tell you that we all must we all must come to the seat of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And be judged of the things that we have done in the flesh, whether good or bad. So you're not getting away with judgment. So I hope this lesson was edifying. It was based on renew. All right. Which renew, re means again. You know. And this is a simple topic, but it's good to refresh and know, and know you know, um, what the Lord is doing unto us every day, man. The Most High is showing mercy unto his elect. All right. Because he's renewing our minds every day and our spirits. And these is also the principles in which we have to rehearse every day, you know, starting with the men down to the women. All right. And the children and the, and the young, young men, the children, all, all that follow in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So renew, re means again. It means what? To resume, revive, renew. All right. So I hope you guys were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.